Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, warm greetings from the UN Convention to Combat Desertification. I'm delighted to be joining you today. And while we meet in particularly difficult circumstances, the fact that this gathering is possible is already a reason for hope, a sign of strong commitment by all member states to work together in solidarity towards building a resilient and inclusive post-pandemic world. Mr. President, the COVID-19 pandemic and the climate crisis have brought us to a threshold. There is now a wide consensus on our opportunity to build together a better world and address this and future crises by transforming our relationship with nature. Now that the door is open, we ought to act together with a sense of hope, but also urgency. The question is how do we do it? In this unprecedented situation, business as usual is no longer an option. We need to go to further with a new toolbox to steer the recovery towards a safer, more sustainable and inclusive path. My central message is clear. Land is part of the solution. It is not just one tool in our toolbox. As science tells us, land restoration can help address the climate and biodiversity crisis. Land represents our largest sink for carbon. The restoration of 350 million hectares of degraded land between now and 2030 could take an additional 13 to 26 gigatons of greenhouse gases out of the atmosphere. In addition, it also generates $9 trillion in ecosystem services. Restoring land unlocks multiple other opportunities and at scale from food to water security, from energy generation to job creations, from health to biodiversity conservation. Let's take the Sahel region, for example. The Great Green Wall Initiative is an ambitious African program with the aim to bring back to health 100 million hectares of degraded land across 11 countries from the Atlantic Ocean to the Red Sea. At the recently concluded One Planet Summit, the Great Green Wall received a major boost with more than 14 billion euros pledged over the next four years to make it a reality. UNCCD expresses its gratitude to political leaders such as President Macron of France, financial institutions and key partners that saw in the Great Green Wall an opportunity. The Great Green Wall is not just about growing trees and plants or restoring degraded land, but also writing the script for a new common future, putting a human face on development and making peace with nature, delivering nature-based solutions to multiple challenges at epic scale to provide jobs and economic opportunities for millions, transforming an entire region. The Great Green Wall is ambitious, but it is no longer just a dream. It is a tangible, growing reality. It is about a future of hope and promise. We hope similar large-scale restoration initiatives will be developed and supported in other parts of the world to secure our common home and our common future. If we pivot towards solidarity and accelerated action. Mr. President, more than ever before, we need solidarity. We need hope, but also we need tough political choices and innovative policy actions to see this crisis through together. Land restoration and sustainable land management offer multiple solutions to communities and countries alike and can help deliver the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Putting land restoration at the center of our recovery efforts is a win-win decision. As you will be pleased to know that populations around the world demand it. UNDP, in partnership with the University of Oxford, has just reported that forest and land conservation is the policy that has the highest support amongst the world's population, 54%. Indeed, people around the world have been reminded that land is the foundation for all life on Earth and the fundamental part of who we are. How land is used and managed 
influences nature, food, water, energy, climate, and even our health. Humanity has, if you forgive the metaphor, soil in its DNA. And as we all know, DNA ties us all together. So together, let's uncover the true value and potential of land for people and the planet. Thank you very much.